Good morning, this is a short Shaman Oracle reading for Sunday. It is about the Herbiary book and cards. And this reading here is for Virgo. Welcome, Virgo. The card that came out for you is Elderberry. And Elderberry relates to cycles and to cyclicalities. Elderberry is traditionally living at the center of the garden, telling stories of winter's past and spring's yet to come, to often scraggly and a questionable centerpiece, her three faces, they embody the goddess, maiden in the spring, abundant with white petals, mother in the summer, when vine red berries adorn her branches, and crone in autumn, when her leaves are falling away and she looks quite dead in winter, all bare branches and hollow bones. Elderberry's yearly evolution teaches you to dance with the closely cycles of life, death and rebirth. Wherever you are in your life, she reminds you that acceptance of life's cyclicality is the key to earning your spot at the garden's center. So, there is the ritual called the Wisdom of Return. In the modern world, time can feel quite linear. We march from birth to death, forgetful of the ancient wisdom of return. Living cyclically, with an awareness of the cycles that form the foundation of our existence, can change our perspective in profound ways. Our press is our first cycle, so inhale and exhale. Next is the cycle of day and night, from dawn to dusk and back again. Beyond that is the 28-day cycle of the moon and on and on. Choose a cycle to celebrate. You might, for example, create the sun each day and send her off in the evening, or you might commit to standing outside for a few minutes each night, observing the movements of the moon. A cycle includes the next beginning, so if you celebrate the dawn and dusk, celebrate the following sunrise as well. If you are a moon watcher, commit to following the moon past the beginning of her next cycle, so you can witness repetition as she comes round again. To this reflection, the upward climbing spiral. Our evolution is an upward climbing spiral. We repeat lessons, gaining wisdom as we go. But if we hop from thing to thing, never repeating, declaring things done after one go round, we deny ourselves this growth, this ability to evolve into the goddess at the center of the garden. Do you take the time to dive deep, allowing cycles of repetition to enhance your understanding? Do you allow new knowledge to take root in your hands and in your heart through practice, or do you hold knowledge only in your head, denying yourself true learning and true wisdom? Natalie Goldberg, 
she wrote down the bones or the writing is called writing down the bones rather said it is odd that we never question the feasibility of a football team practicing long hours for one game yet in writing we rarely give ourselves the space for practice that was the reading for you, Virgo. I hope you liked it. I wish you a wonderful Sunday. Take care and goodbye.